Yesterday, in English, we were looking at St Keynes again, and we were looking at lines 1, 2 and 3. Line 1 being the subject of the poem, a noun. Line 2 being the description of that subject, those adjectives. And line 3 being the action of that subject, the verb to do with it. So, today, we're going to be looking at lines 4 and 5. Now, these have a different purpose and they're somewhat more personal to you. So this could be a little bit trickier, but I'm sure you can manage it. So let's have a look. And here we are. So we're looking at lines four and five today. So line four here doesn't have a particular word class. Line two and three are adjectives and verbs. This one, however, doesn't because this line is about feeling. This line is about how this subject makes you feel. So when I was writing this, I was thinking about raindrops. And when I've been out in the rain, it's when it soaks into your hair, your clothes, soaks into everything you're wearing, and you are, of course, soaking wet. So that's the feeling I went with. And I had to fit that feeling into eight syllables, soaking into my hair and socks. This last line... Now, this is very tricky because this is summing up the whole poem. It's like a conclusion, really. So we're going to call this the conclusion. And again, this has no particular word class. This can be any word you choose. You could choose to say raindrop in a different way. You could choose to say it again. You could choose some of the alliteration you looked at. I could have put drip, drip or splish, splash. But I chose flooding because I liked it. Now with these two lines, the fourth line about feelings and the fifth line, that concluding word, it's really important that you have a good think about those because they are personal to you. It's about how that subject makes you feel. So it's a really good idea to brainstorm some ideas, to write them down and to play around with sounds and with how the syllables fit together. So today's work you're going to use the poems you started yesterday. You're going to have exactly the same table. And yesterday you came up with the adjectives and the verbs to describe those subjects like sunshine and ice cream. Today, you're going to be adding your feeling lines and your final concluding line. I'm looking forward to see how those turn out. Have a really good think about how those things make you feel.